Where was Daniel? Hi, welcome back to Regal Heights Director's Cuts. As we've gone through the book of Daniel, we learned in chapter 3 that three of Daniel's buddies uh, did not bow to uh, an idol that Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, has set up for them for everyone to worship. And sticking to their faith and knowing that God did not want idolatry in their lives, they did not bow down. And it got them in trouble because Nebuchadnezzar said, if you don't bow down and worship the image that I have set up, I'm going to throw you into the burning fire and you're in the furnace and you're going to die. And he did that to consolidate power and to eliminate threats, to comply obedience. But they loved God more than they loved their lives. And so they were willing uh, to suffer for the sake of God. But what begs the question is this, is that we would assume that Daniel would not bow down either, but he is omitted from this story. And so it is kind of interesting to see, like, why on earth is Daniel not mentioned in this incredible happening that happened? Uh, one supposed theory is that Daniel, being the writer of this, just simply did not include himself in it to avoid any thought of arrogance. Um, and that they, he was there all along, but ended up not being a part of the story because he was the one who penned it. Uh, the next is that because he was the governor of Babylon, that potentially he was above this particular, um, this edict. I find that one quite doubtful simply because that Nebuchadnezzar had other officials, high officials and magistrates have to bow down. To me, what I think is the most plausible, and again, all of this, we just simply don't know. The scripture is silent on it. But it is an interesting question to ask. Where is Daniel and all this? I bet you they wish their buddy was there to help them navigate this difficult time. But Daniel being the governor of Babylon, he was basically the number one down from the, from the king himself. And with a very vastly huge empire, it could have been quite simply that Daniel was off uh, at a delegation doing official business somewhere else. When it would take weeks to get anywhere, months even sometimes to the further reaches, that Nebuchadnezzar could have easily built and uh, put up and had this whole thing happen in a whole interim period of uh, six months to a year with Daniel being gone on a delegation to some other matter in a far-flung corner to deal with. And I think that is also the most plausible because Daniel ends up showing back up uh, shortly thereafter. We don't say, we don't know where from or where he's going next, but nonetheless, we can understand this is that God is with us. And what we can learn with this is sometimes God has us in the middle of a situation to show our faith. And sometimes he has us far away because it kind of protects us from something. So who knows, maybe God had Daniel to do something that we don't know about that is lost to history that we will know one day in heaven that God has put him on the other side of the empire for a particular reason during this very difficult and yet glorification of God time. Well, thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Have a great day. <music>